Asia's vibrant movie industry will be the toast of Hong Kong at the city's film awards later today. The film tipped to take out the top gong 10 years is a dystopic vision of Hong Kong in 2025 and was grossing more than Star Wars in some cinemas before Chinese authorities recently banned it. As China correspondent Matthew Carney explains, the film has touched a nerve in the city which has been riven by bitter pro-democracy protests in recent years. Here in Hong Kong, calls for independence against mainland China are growing and the nationalist leaders are joining the political mainstream. The leaders from the umbrella protests that stopped this city for three months in 2014, like Joshua Wong, are forming new political parties. They say the protests didn't achieve much at all. They got no democratic concessions at all. So what they're calling for is much more control. But ultimately, they want a referendum. They want the people of Hong Kong to decide their future, whether that's with China or whether, indeed, they become an independent state that's recognised by the United Nations. Now, that's going to anger China. So the stage is set for more confrontation and more conflicts. This weekend, all over Hong Kong, the film 10 Years will be screened at 30 locations. It's a very dark vision of Hong Kong in 2025, where locals can't speak their native tongue, Cantonese, and the Chinese harass the local residents. The protesters set themselves alight in the ultimate protest. Now, the film was doing very well at the box office and in some cinemas was outdoing Star Wars. But because of its political content, it was pulled by authorities. The filmmakers say they wanted to serve as a wake-up call, a warning. But the film is giving a voice to the fears of people here. They fear what Hong Kong will be like under greater Chinese control in 10 years. They fear they'll lose their identity. They fear they'll lose their freedoms. The Chinese say that the film is a virus and is totally unacceptable.